end into the dip at the thousand metres. Samuel Zone by two and a half lengths from Hayden, two and a half further back, step forward a length into Mr. Empirical, and the winner's got to be in that four. They're 20 lengths in front of National Venture Park Squire Castellani's dropped out to last. Around the far turn, just over 800 to go, and step forward has run to the front. It led now by three lengths. Hayden's getting very, very tired. So was Samuel Zone, a length and a half to two further back to Mr. Empirical over the third last. About six or seven lengths, National Venture starting to make some ground, and then a long gap to Park Squire Castellani. About 500 metres from home, two to jump, and there are panels down at the second last. And step forward, two lengths in front of Mr. Empirical. Hayden next from Samuel Zone, just walking, and then National Venture. They're coming towards the second last. They're all making for the down panels and skip through it. And Mr. Empirical, the outside, has got to the lead now from step forward to lead by about a length, coming up towards the last one. Approaching the last, Mr. Empirical ran around at it, but jumped it all right in front of step forward. They're well clear of Hayden and then Samuel Zone National Venture. Step forward, finding Petty on the inside of uh, Mr. Empirical. Mr. Empirical just got the head in front near the line, and Mr. Empirical has beaten step forward. Result of the first, the winner won Mr. Empirical, Wayne Smith, 4 to 1. Second, six step forward, Alvin Weir, 25 to 10. And third, eight, Hayden, Charlie Edwards, 22 to 10. And favourite. The winning margin, incidentally, was only a neck. Race two today was the maiden handicap over 1,100 metres and a lucky ride here for Bill Darrington. Towards the 500 now, just before straightening, and Ialis joined by Londrigan's Lane, the outside, running third at the moment, Power Dance. Star Alla was next with the outside, Pride of Justice, who's made ground quickly. Out behind them then, Rebellant the inside, further away then under the whip was Keeper's Blessing from Haddon Lee. But down near the 200, Power Dance the leader, but Pride of Justice strode up on the outside to join it and shortly afterwards put the head in front. Pride of Justice about a half length in front now of Power Dance with 100 metres to go and looks to be doing well enough to win. And Pride of Justice the outside is going to score nicely. Second Power Dance getting up for third. Result race two, the winner nine, Pride of Justice, Bill Darrington, two to one and favourite. Ray White was to ride the horse, Bill got the late ride. Second was three Power Dance, Bill Strig at 35 to 10. Third four, Rebellant Phil Lynott at 10 to one. Race three today was the flying handicap run over 1,100 metres and for young apprentice M. Viant, a very pleasing winner. Getting up towards the 700 metre mark and flashing Biscay nearly a length in front of Stu and Bell. I'm a Lord's trapped out three deep, a length further back the inside Coventry Blue from Little Nisku and two and a half to three away then to Ty's order. On the corner with 500 to go, flashing Biscay first into the straight, it's led by a little more than the length now. Coventry Blue coming off the fence to go after it. I'm a Lord out wide, Stu and Bell look to be struggling. Little Nisku starting to run on but they've got to get this leader yet. And flashing Biscay still about a length in front of Coventry Blue at the 200. Coventry Blue is the danger. It strode up on the outside and took the lead from flashing Biscay. And Coventry Blue is going to draw away and win the sprint rather well. Coventry Blue goes to the line, wins at two lengths, flashing Biscay a length, third the result Nisku. of the sprint. The winner five, Coventry Blue, M. Viant, 25 to 10. Second six, flashing Biscay, full line at 16 to 1. Third three, Little Nisku, Bill Streak, 22 to 10 and favourite. The fourth event was the Scott Mobile Distance Improvers and despite pulling hard for the earlier part of the race, the second favourite just a little bit too strong. Up towards the 800 and now Peppertone about to be joined here by on the outside Domitian Capistrano. They're two lengths in front of Adderwish Desert Warfare, full on Jack starting to be ridden along now to try and improve and further back Boulevard Storm Grace Roving Rufus still last. Only six lengths between leader and last as they come around the corner. 4.50 to run. And the leader now, Mission Capistrano, on the outside of uh, Peppertone. They led into the straight from full-on Jacks, who looked the immediate danger. Out behind them then, running on fairly, was out of wish, followed then by Desert Warfare under the whip, Roving Rufus and Storm Grace. But Mission Capistrano got to the lead at the 200. It led by nearly a length now from full-on Jacks, the outside. Peppertone out of wish is a danger if it gets a run. It's Mission Capistrano in front. The opening there for Adderwish, but it's not going on with it. And Mission Capistrano goes the line to win it a length from full-on Jack. Result of race four, first two, Mission Capistrano, Esperhaja at 25 to 10. Second one, full-on Jack, Bill Streak, 18 to 10 and favourite. Third five, Adderwish, Glenn Darrington, 10 to 1. So into race five today, it was the first division of the Escort Maiden. 
and it saw the first of a winning double for young apprentice Anne-Marie White. Past the 600 metre mark and got the Jazz of Strode up on the outside to join Major Lash. Manamiki's gone, it's well beaten. Cardinia Princess coming into it boldly out wide with Tristram's light as they swung for home. But got the Jazz, got to the lead inside the 400, but it's going to be claimed pretty quickly. On the outside, Tristram's light and also Cardinia Princess and Gleaming Ice in the centre and John Tisher right down the extreme outside. Past the 200 and Gleaming Ice has probably got the head in front. John Tisher perhaps is the danger, got the Jazz is responding on the inside. There's not much in this, John Tisher out wide and Gleaming Ice, Gleaming Ice is doing best and it's won. Gleaming Ice... Result of the, the, the fifth, the, the winner seven Gleaming Ice, Anne-Marie White at four to one. Second, three, John Tisher, S. Bahaja, 45 to 10. Third, eight, got the Jazz, Glenn Darrington, three to one. Not much in that finish. There was only a head and neck between the first three. Race six today was the country stakes, run over 1,300 metres, and despite hanging a little bit in the straight, Anne-Marie White gets her second winner. 700 metres from home, and Star beyond the leader, but about to be joined by Lang's Corner. Beach all on the outside next from Novar Valley, the fence followed then by Bracantha making ground around pinball player. Three or four lengths further back with Fury and Tan Tickle, but into the straight with 400 to go. And on the outside, Lang's Corner looks to have headed off Beach all. Star beyond he was next, followed then by Bracantha and further back to Novar Valley. But Lang's Corner a clear leader now with about 200 to run. Next was Beach all and then on the inside, Star beyond he Bracantha. Hanging badly, Lang's Corner, but it's well clear of Beach All with 100 to go, and I think it's going to hang on and score nicely with Furies coming from near last to rattle home. But Lang's Corner out wide gets home. Lang's Corner first, Beach All second with Fury run. Result of race six, first one Lang's Corner, and Marie White three to one. Second eight, Beach All, Neville Wilson 11 to 10 in favourite. Third six with Fury, M Viant 25 to one. Main race on the program today was race seven. It was the disposal shop handicap run over 1,580 metres. Gordon's Leaf, the only scratching. We had a field of eight to run. A little more than 8.50 from home and Evil Ark got its nose in front. Led now from on the inside, Better Flex, about three quarters of a length further back, Lord Rana. Another length then to Murrow being chased by Milady Star going quickly to the outside with Prim Melody. And Chauvery, the rails, and now last of all was Demon Image. Coming up to the 600 before the turn, and Evil Ark, the outside, shows in front now from Better Fleck. Lord Rana, Prim Melody and My Lady Star are quickly after the leader as they turn into the straight. And out behind them, Murrawa, Demon Image, Chauvery. At the 400, Lord Rana stood a straight up and took the lead. My Lady Star's going to chase after Lord Rana, but Lord Rana is going well. Evil Ark, the inside, battling on gamely, and they've broken away now from Prim Melody and Better Fleck. It's Lord Rana in front with 100 to go. My Lady Star striving to get it on the outside. It might too. It's starting to finish a bit the better. And My Lady Star will go home to win all. Nearly a length on the line from Lord Rana. The Evil result Ark, of race seven, fourth. the disposal shop handicap. The winner two, My Lady Star, Bill Street, 12 to 10 in favourite. Second three, Lord Rana, Espahaja at 22 to 10. Third four, Evil Ark, and marie White, 16 to 1. Took the winner a long time to get to Lord Rana, but when My Lady Star did collar it, she won well. Straight after the running of the handicap today came the presentation in the hands of Club Vice. After the 600 before the turn, and Parmet out wide appeared to have collared far symbol the rails. In the centre there was Pawnee Chief. They are followed then by Rybench still on the rails, getting off the fence, Big Marston around the outside, roving Rufus. But into the straight, and Parmet was the first into the straight, again joined by Pawnee Chief the inside. Rybinks trying to get between runners, fast symbol look beaten. Big Master and Roving Rufus running on and here's Folksall Man starting to storm home down the outside now. Pawnee Chief in front inside the 200. Rybinsk and Folksall Man are going to tackle it strongly. Pawnee Chief's hanging, Folksall Man's finishing all over the top of them though. And Folksall Man will go home to win by all nearly two lengths. Rybinsk second, Roving Rufus has Result of race eight, third, first Pawnee two Folksall Man, Esper Harger at 18 to 10 in favourite, gave Sam a winning double today. Second one, Rybinsk and Wilson at two to one. And third, 10, Stumpy's mate, D Burns, 25 to one. Incidentally, I may have called that Roving Rufus in that race. It was Stumpy's mate, both out of the same stable, same colours. Final event on the program this afternoon was the Escort Maiden second division. Punter's Plump for the top weight is a very, very warm favourite, but it just failed by a half a head. About 700 metres from home, and the leader, Streatham Flyer, still a length and a half to two in front. 
Led from Fromenton, Goldwise is going to get to the inside of it too, so Fromenton must be hanging off the track, but so has Streatham Flyer, it's gone out into no man's land on the corner, and this has allowed Fromenton to stride to the lead now with Goldwise. They're clear of Streatham Flyer, it's a privilege down the outside, eyes of Kingdom, and then Citrus Sith further back, Junction Miss, but at the 220 and on the inside here, and the leader was Goldwise, narrowly from Froment on the outside. They've drawn well away now from Isaac Kingdom. It's a battle between these two, Goldwise and Froment, and Goldwise is hanging on. Froment hasn't quite got to it. Goldwise just in front near the line, and I think it's won. Goldwise, perhaps a short half. It's on the final Fremendon event, the winner seven Goldwise, Vanessa Hutchinson, six to one. Second one, Froment and Neville Wilson, ten to six, on and favourite. And third, eight, Isaac Kingdom. Mari Bolden at 8-1. Well, I think the 1987-88 didn't augur very well for the meeting, but during the day itself, we were fortunate. There were only just one or two very, very light showers, and I don't think made much difference to the race goers. Eight races on the program today, and race one was the outdoor stuff, distance made and handicap, and unfortunately, we haven't got the finish of that particular race for you tonight. Uh, but I can tell you that the winner was five, folks or man, Sam Bahaja starting at four to one, and I think a lot of credit must go to Sam. He wrote it very vigorously, and it did respond well to score officially by a length and a half. Second was Ben's dollar, 15 to 10 in favourite, and third, at a wish, at 10 to one. And again, please note, of course, that auto dividends are for one dollar units. Race two on the program was the O'Connor and Graney Steeple Chase. There were only six in it, but it was a most thrilling affair and Mark Kavanagh making sure that he won that jumping jockey's premiership for the third time in a row. And Toompang to it, landed about a length and a half in front of Climore, and on the inside Marino Man, and four lengths away to Daring Devil, and 15 to 20 away Matcham Rocky. One to jump, and Toompang coming towards the last, about four lengths in front of Marino Man, and up on the outside to Climore. At the last fence, over it, Toompang in front, landed about three or four clear. Oh, Crymore's running all over the place and interfered a little bit with Marino Man and Daring Devil. But into the straight and Toompang well clear with a 250 metres to go. It was out about eight or ten lengths in front of Crymore, Marino Man, Daring Devil. But past the 200 and Toompang's going to lead from start to finish. It's drawing further away in fact. And Toompang's going to win the steeplechase by some 20 lengths. Daring Devil will get up to run second in front of Cry Moore and then Marino Man from Matcham Rocky. Toompang is right down on the line, scores by 12 lengths. Second Winner of the steeplechase two, Toompang M. Kavanagh, 18 to 10 favourite. Second four, Daring Devil at 32 to 10. Third five, Cry Moore, 14 to 1. The third event was the Burkefield Petroleum Maiden Handicap and here the winner Manor Queen at 16 to 1 gave the top apprentice for the year, Donna Burns, her 12th win for the season. At the 600 metre mark though, and Manor Queen by a length and a half to Land Option and Dual Sovereign. Uh, running up next was Musi, followed then by Miss Neamon Bronzewood, and then behind them in Mosca and Twins Delight that's made a bit of ground. Manor Queen in front at the 400. Dual Sovereign out after it quickly, down the outside to Musi. They look to be the leading three and doing it quite well. Miss Neamond is running on all right with Twins Delight, who's looking for a run. But Manor Queen well clear at the 200. It's still about three or four in front. Musi coming out after it now, and so was Twins Delight, Miss Neamond. And down the outside to Regal Seal, Manor Queen was stopping, but they won't get it. And Manor Queen led from start to finish to win by or two, two and a half lengths. Twins Delight probably second. He's on the third, the winner eight, Manor Queen, D Burns, 16 to 1. Second placing went to seven, Twins Delight, 35 to 10. I thought just a shade unlucky. And third, 15, Musi, starting at 16 to 1. Race number four was the Savings and Loans Improvers Handicap. It gave Panola trainer, Mrs. Dory Ross, her second winner for the day, but more importantly, took her to a one-win lead in the trainer's premiership for this current season. They've got away five lengths now in front of Nova Valley, Donegal Gem, High Retreat, then Mr. Assertive, Cantrian and Menaru Bell last. On the corner with 500 to go, and Derner the leader, nearly a length in front. Bol Bingo looks the real big danger up on the outside as it races up and joins Derner. And on the inside then to Gorgonian, weakening from running on Novar Valley, Donegal Gem and High Retreat. 
Bold Bingo got to the front now at the 200, led from Derner, who's under pressure. High retreats made a lot of ground down the extreme outside, but Bold Bingo in front with 120 to go. I don't think they'll get to it. High retreat battling on from Derner and Nova Valley, but Bold Bingo makes it a double for Dory Ross. And Bold Bingo beats High Retreat, third Derner, fourth. Result of the fourth, the winner won Bold Bingo, W Strig at four to one. Second, six High Retreat, 12 to one. Third, two Derner, 35 to 10. The unplaced favourite, Cantrian, at three to one. Race number five this afternoon was the main event, really. It was the disposal shop handicap. And here again, favourite backers well on the mark. At the 600 metre mark, and Oriental Express strode up and joined Cosine and Cowrie Boy in front. They led from Prim Melody. Murrow was made a lot of ground around the outside. Jazzalata was tacking on behind it. And then out behind them still was Timmins from Magnesium, John Collin on the inside. Down inside the last 300 and here the leader Oriental Express got a length on Cowrie Boy. Murrow down the outside was next from John Collin, Cosine well beaten and then Jazzalata Timmins. But it's all Oriental Express, a double for Roger Creek coming up as it strode away a couple in front. Cowrie Boy's finding another effort over on the outside but Oriental Express in front and is going to hang on. And Oriental Express wins at a length from Cowrie Boy, three away then to John Collin, third. Four Winner of the handicap, two, Oriental Express, W Streak, 16 to 10, favourite. Second one, Cowrie Boy, six to one. And third five, John Collin, 45 to 10. Immediately after the running of the handicap came the presentation, today in the hands of Jill Fraser. On behalf of the disposal shop, I'd like to thank the Mount Gambia Racing Club for giving us the opportunity to sponsor this race and I'd like to congratulate Mr Creek on his win. Race number six today was the Victoria Hotel Port McDonald Distance Improvers, the first division, the field of 11 rank. As they uh, run towards the uh, far turn and in the all-white high choices got to the lead, and it led by well, nearly a couple of lengths now from Cheval Bruin, Clipman 2 was next, and then around the outside, Yellatar Supreme. Uh, behind them, Garmore Morva and Star Fazier, and then Royal Hotel, who looks to be struggling a little bit at the moment. Out behind it was Labrano Lodger, Mr Manilow getting well out of it early too, and so also Travel Centre as they came towards the home turn, and well back there, Mission Capistrano into the straight with just over 400 to go. And Yellatar Supreme has dashed up on the outside to take the lead and led clearly from Cheval Bruin, Clipman 2. Out behind them, high choice, further away, Labrano Lodger, Royal Hotel is going to run last. Down the outside to Starfage but all Yellatar Supreme well clear inside the last 150 metres. It's drawn out four or five in front and is going to win handsomely. Uh, going to the line, Yellatar Supreme wins easily. Cheval Bruin might hang on to run second. Mr Manilow's got up to run third in front of Lebrano Lodge. He's on race six today. The winner of five, Yellatar Supreme, Paul Mark, started at 11 to 1. Second three, Cheval Bruin, 12 to 1. Third two, Mr Manilow at 4 to 1. The unplaced favourite, Clipman 2, in the race at 25 to 10. Race number seven this afternoon was the Trendsetter Country Stakes, run over 2,050 metres. And just to show that it wasn't a fluke, the Murray Bridge winner from last week scored again. Around the far turn, about 8.50 to go. And Evil Lark, the leader, a half length now in front of Far Symbol. Third, Better Flex on the outside of Regaff Boy, and they've got the two leaders covered. Out behind them was Burke Hills Lane from Prince's Image. Storm Grace improving, so was Miss Trium. And then Moroa Path from the inside to Symbol's Image, and a gap then to Hull's Army and Garmore Heath. Forget the rest. On towards the corner, about 500 out. And Better Flex, Regaff Boy charging up towards the lead. So also out wide was Prince's Image coming into it strongly. Miss Trium continuing that run too and so also was Storm Grace but at the 300 metre mark Prince's Image out wide put the head in front it's got out to the good going in the centre of the track from Betterflex, Regaff Boy and down on the rails to Burke Hills Lane Prince's Image is going to repeat the win at Murray Bridge it's streaking away from them over the last 100 metres and Prince's Image will win by four or five Burke Hills Lane, Regaff Boy, Old Moroa path down the outside might sneak a place Prince's Image by a mile second Probably Regaff Boy or Burke. Winner of the country stakes, number 11, Prince's Image, Arcope, 5 to 1. Second, 4, Moroa Path, D Lawson, 14 to 1. And I think that surprised everybody. The photo was very tricky indeed. 
and third eight Regaf Boy, four to one and favourite. That cleared the way for the final event on the program today, the second division of the Victoria Hotel Distance Improvers. The win had to be achieved by Cara Princess to give Michael O'Leary the leading trainer's premiership trophy for this season. Coming up towards the 600 here in Punty Lane, just the leader. Going to be tackled on all sides though as around the outside, Cara Princess looms into it too with Verbenas. Tarango King pulled to the outside with Black Attila trying to get up on the fence out behind them. Uh, another one too and they are followed then by Tambell Sentence. But down in ten tickle the one on the rails but down the straight and Cara Princess drove to the front. Got clear here now from Tarango King and Punty Lane under punishment. Then Tambell Sentence but it's Cara Princess in front past the 200. It led by a couple of lengths perhaps three. Tarango King trying hard to wear it down but oh Cara Princess was going much too well in the last hundred metres. And Cara Princess will get home in the last by two and a half lengths. Tarango King third Tambell sentence, fourth Punty Lane. It was on in the last race, the winner three car of Princess, Bill Streak, 18 to 10 and favourite, and that gave Bill a winning treble for the day. Second 10, Tarango King, Bill Darrington, 14 to 1, third one Tambell sentence, Vanessa Hutchinson at 4 to 1. Just to bring you up to date, today with the four treller here at Glen Burnie, the winning combination of 1, 2, 5 and 11 paid $2,424.95. The daily doubles for $12.70 and the consolation $17.05. Final meeting for the current season. I think the Mangambia Racing Club delighted with the outcome. And certainly the association had to be delighted too when you think of the fact that it had to go down to the last race on an eight event program today before we found the winner of the trainer's premiership for this current season. It certainly added to the excitement. Just to bring you up to date on those, Bill Streak, the leading jockey for the season with 49 winners, just one short of the magical 50. Donna Burns, the leading apprentice with 12 winners. Mark Cavan, the leading jumping jockey. And I might add, for the fifth time, not the third as I mentioned earlier, so congratulations Mark, a record you should be proud of. And Michael O'Leary, of course, winning the trainer's premiership with the success of Cara Princess in that last race. I think it all goes well for future racing here in the South East. Thank you for joining us tonight from Channel 8 Sporting Service. From the Men Bernie Racecourse, we say a very good night. I admit weather conditions were not exactly in the best interest of racegoers. We had continuous rain for the first four races on the program, but after that, well, it did improve. I thought the racing was of a particularly high standard. Let's have a look at the concluding stages of race one on the program today. It was the Qantas Hurdle. Last one, and over this one and out, Dark and the leader from Storm Grace. Got away three to four in front again. Two lengths further back then to Firmhold, struggling a little bit from Magnesium and further away then to Gold Echo, next to Rumnick, Garmore, Heath and still last of all, Kiligore. On the turn, 500 to go, two to jump. And O'Darkham going to lead up to the second last one. It's drifting out into the centre of the track slightly. Jumped it in front of Storm Grace. Third place then was Magnesium from Firm Hold. Storm Grace trying hard to tackle O'Darkham, but O'Darkham still a length in front coming to the last one. They approach it now, took off nearly together. O'Darkham just in front. Storm Grace might be finishing a shade the better. On the outside, Storm Grace, O'Darkham not giving in easily, but Storm Grace proving a little bit too strong. And near the line starts to draw away to win by a length. Uh, first was saw Storm Grace a length to O'Darkham, six or seven the result away. Result of the hurdle, the winner seven, Storm Grace, Mark Kavanagh, ten to eight on and favourite. Second four, O'Darkham at four to one. Third three, Magnesium, ten to one. Race two was the Scott Mobile Intermediate Handicap, a smallish field, but a pretty interesting finish and the first TAB winner for young apprentice Vanessa Hutchinson. A length and a half done, Dane, and a neck away the outside to Primelody. They're on the corner, 500 metres to go. And Stu and Bell nearly a length in front of My Lady Magpie as they made the turn. Neumon's gift was third, fourth the high arc, Prim Melody switching out to the centre of the course, Dundane last. Down now with about 300 to go. And the leader, Stu and Bell, but only an inch in front of My Lady Magpie. And getting up on the inside, Neumon's gift could worry them both out of it. At the 200, Neumon's Gift in the centre, Stu and Bell, and out wide, My Lady Magpies. Neumon's Gift looked to be doing a little bit better than Stu and Bell. Neumon's Gift with the head in front, drew a half length, nearly a length clear. And Neumon's Gift beats Stu and Bell, My Lady Magpie third. Three lengths away then to... Result race Prim two, the winner three, Neumon's Gift v Hutchinson, 45 to 10. Second five, Stu and Bell, three to one, 
third to My Lady Magpie, 14 to 10 in favourite. The third event was the West End Export Maiden of 1100 metres and a pretty fine training treat here by um, trainer Roger Creek to produce a horse after 17 months to win first up. Us the 600 metre mark and this leader game idea a couple in front travelling all right. Led at this stage from nice and furious Rolene's Hope Hard under the whip. Bess of Camelot's moved up fairly quickly and out behind them would be um, uh, on the inside then uh, uh, Eloquent Miss followed further back by K Clifton King running on fairly with Matari but it's game idea in front as they get down now with Hobby going up quickly to head it off at the 200. Hobby on the outside immediately put the head in front of game idea out behind them convener battling on Hobby in front with about 50 metres to go drawing away and Hobby's going to beat game idea running on convener for third. But Hobby by nearly a length from Game Idea, third, convener third, Hobby, fourth Michael Hoy, nine King to one. Bell, Second, up. eleven, Game Idea, fifteen to one, and third, four, convener, eighteen to ten, and equal favourite. The other unplaced equal favourite, number one, Rollins Hope. Cornella on that race incidentally paid eighty-one dollars, and please note that two dividends are for one-dollar units. Fourth and main race this afternoon was the South Australian Savings and Loans handicap. And again, a tribute, I think, to trainer Peter Walker for bringing Light the Lot back from distance races to win this 1580 metre race. Another length and a half away to Murrow, a Southwest star. Light the Lot getting up on the inside of that pair, and then Fearless Fighter starting to accelerate quickly around the outside. Jazzalada was next from without Fury Core, alas. They're on the turn, 4.50 to run and Evil Lark first into the straight, a couple cleared my word, Fearless Fighters made some ground. It's dashed up and joined Evil Lark in front. Murrow were trying to get to them, Cowrie Boy going for the rails run, so was Light the Lot, but Fearless Fighter in front at the 200. It led by a length and a half, Light the Lot was starting to run on, so was Cowrie Boy. Light the Lot in fact's got the better of Fearless Fighter, Cowrie Boy can't quite reach them, Light the Lot clear with a hundred to go. And Light the Lot's going to draw away and win by a couple of lengths. Cowrie Boy's probably run second, an inch in the front of the Result of the fourth, the winner two Light the Lot, Michael Hoy giving that jockey a winning double. Two to one and favourite. Second one, Cowrie Boy, 35 to 10. Third five, Fearless Fighter at seven to one. After the running of the handicap came the presentation this afternoon. It was conducted in the complex. And to make the presentation on behalf of South Australian Savings and Loans, the South East Area Manager, Mr David Blakett. I'd also like to pass on my congratulations to all the people involved in the training of the horse like the lot. Um, I thought personally, unfortunately I didn't back it, but it was a masterly ride and it certainly deserved to win. And I'd like to uh, congratulate the trainers, the jockey, the horse and the owners. And now I'd like to uh, present this trophy to Pam Walker, the trainer of the horse. Thanks, Pam. Good. Well done. Thank you. So into race five. And the fifth in the program this afternoon was the escort distance maiden run over 1,400 metres. Another six lengths away then to Satomi. I think you can forget the rest headed by full-on Jackson night long. On towards the corner, about 4.50 out. And the leader here was uh, first into the straight land option. Woodson Lad was still there. Trying hard, free passion, and also had a wish down the outside to stump his mate, Pride of Justice, and further away to Musi. They're getting the land option at the 220. It's uh, drawn level with it. Stumpy's made out wide who might have put the head in front now from Pride of Justice. On the inside next to land option and had a wish but Stumpy's mate's hanging in a little bit trying to rejoin it now on the inside Pride of Justice. Stumpy's mate just doing a little bit better on the outside and Stumpy's mate has won it narrowly from Pride of Justice. Third the result race five on the program wish. today and this is where punters started to feel the pinch. The winner was 16, Stumpy's mate, Donna Burns, 12 to 1. Second, six, Pride of Justice, 3 to 1 in favourite. Third, three, Land Option, 45 to 10. That raised Cronella, $2,980.70. Race number six was the Max Hotel Country Stakes, and again, the winner at double figure odds. They are followed then by Tarango King Nova Valley, and then Stolid already under the whip from Run River Run Minaroo Bell. Followed further back by Ty's order, better flex. I think you can forget the rest around the corner. And the leader here out very wide appeared to be Nova Valley with Lipmon. They've drawn clear of Wine Cooler, Donegal Gem, Tarango King and then Landers Duke, Run River Run. But it's Nova Valley in front at the 200. 
Wine coolers trying hard to peg it back with lip monitor. I don't think they're doing well enough. Nova Valley looks to have them all struggling. Nova Valley by a length and a half to two. Wine cooler running on but won't get this leader. And Nova Valley's going to hang on. It won't win by much. It's stopping near the line, but it has scored. Uh, Nova Valley from Pop. Result of the six to win a ten. Nova Valley. Jay Edishank, sixteen to one. Second four, wine cooler, sixteen to ten favourite. Third, fourteen, Donegal Gem, ten to one. Again, a big Quinella, seven hundred and three dollars. I'm sorry, trifecta, seven hundred and three dollars forty-five. Into the last race on the program today, it was the Channel 8 Improvers handicap of 2,050 metres. And out of the field of 13, there were only four horses coupled up in today's Fort Trella. Upper side running fourth from Mr. Manilow, further away then to Turriff. They are being trailed then by Symbols. Order continuing to make ground, but still giving the leaders a pretty fair start. Burke Hills Lane and High Choice turn for home together with Burke Hills Lane looking to be going much the better. Our uh, high choice has gone out to the centre of the track looking for better going. Mr Manilow running on so also under the whip was Jazzalata at the 250 now and it looked as though Mr Manilow had got to the lead. Jazzalata going with it, Burke Hills Lane beaten so was high choice and out wide symbols order but it's Mr Manilow with its head in front. Jazzalata not quite getting to it, Mr Manilow proving too strong in the concluding stages. And Mr Manilow wins by a length and a half, second Jazzalata four or five to... Uh, Hills on the last race, the winner won Mr Manilow. Thought a superb ride from the winning jockey, Paul Shepherdson. A half length away then to Lager Boy, Regaff Boy, and another half away to Salwear Star and two to Gordon Sleep as they come to the third last. Over this one, Punty Lane the leader, but only still a half length in front of Nymphus. They've got two lengths clear of Lager Boy, who's under pressure. Salwear Star going to the outside of that one, and then Regaff Boy and Gordon Sleep, and five lengths to Shane's Grey Boy, and eight away then to Sunlight Bow. The inside two panels are down at the second to last one, and coming towards it now, and on the outside, uh, Salwear West Star has taken the lead from Nymphus. Lager Boy's hard under the whip, so was Regaff Boy and Gordon's Leap trying to get between runners. Coming up to the last one, Southwest Star joined by Nymphus. They jumped it together about a length in front of Lager Boy and Gordon's Leap getting up on the rail. It's Nymphus and Southwest Star. Gordon's Leap might be finishing much better though. It's poked its head up on the inside. Southwest Star won't run straight. It interfered with Nymphus and Gordon's Leap has beaten Southwest Star. But the result of the hurdle, the winner won Gordon's Leap. Pish Everton three to one for maiden handicap and here the winner Bellarant and again a, a very plucky win and the most vigorous ride from Robert Cope only a half length in front. Bees Image and Bellerin going up boldly on the outside of the leader. They're about a length and a half clear of Hot Air and Trimley and they've got well away from Kachita Superior Lad Super Zoom as they turn for home. Bellerin in front just inside the 400. Led narrowly now from Trimley going up on the outside. Out behind them was Hot Air battling on from Game Idea. Bees Image was beaten. Kachita down the outside but it's Trimley on the outside and Bellerin in front with 120 to run. Bellerin and Trimley Trimley, Trimley on the outside might be doing a shade the better it poked the head in front. Bellerant's fighting back on the inside. They go to the line. Oh, I think Bellerant might have outstayed Trimley. The winner of the Three second six, Bellerant, are Cope, 16 to 10 and favourite. The program today was the Mountshank Meat Company Spring Cup. And I thought here a most intelligent ride from jockey Sam Bahaja to land Lord Rana, a pretty easy winner. Along the side of the course near the 700, and Budgeon still the leader from Evil Ark by about three quarters of a length. Two further back to Lord Rana, Mr Manilow and Jazzalada together. Mr Manilow getting up onto the fence, but it may have run into a bit of a dead end as Budgeon starts to weaken. And Evil Ark took the lead as they came towards the home turn with 4.50 to run. Led into the straight from Lord Rana and then Mr Manilow out behind them, Fearless Fighter and on the outside, Jazzalada. But running to the front, Lord Rana's cleared away from Evil Ark in the straight. Mr Manilow's out after it now. It might be a bit late. Lord Rana a couple in front. Mr Manilow under the whip from Evil Ark. Fearless Fighter can't win. It's Lord Rana in front. Mr Manilow can't get to it. And Lord Rana looks like hanging on. Evil Ark battling on for third. But Lord Rana's going to go to the line to win by probably two and a half lengths from Mr Manilow. Third Evil Ark. Fourth about five Result of the Spring away. Cup. First two Lord Rana S. Bahaja at 32 to 10. Second three, Mr Manilow, ten to nine. ...from the progress of those various sporting bodies. I'd like to congratulate Michael and Mrs Cassidy as owners of the winning horse, Lord Rana, and ask Michael to come forward and accept presentation of this trophy.
race number four today was the Templeton Constructions Improve as it gave Sam Bahaja his second winning ride in consecutive races. It got away three lengths in front of Donegal Gem from Run River Run Hobby Far Symbol. Five lengths away then to Antipodine and six last of all Regal Seal can't go a yard. Into the straight with about 4.50 to run. Angol Condador out wide has hit the front here from I'm a Lord Derner and then Tagaman and Donegal Gem further back Run River Run. I'm a Lord closing on Gold Condador as they get down near the 200. On the inside Donegal Gem was battling on pretty well too. Derner can't win nor can Tagaman. Down now with 100 to going on the inside, Donegal Gem put a head in front and starting to draw away and Sam Bahaja is going to get a double. Donegal Gem goes to the line to win at two lengths from uh, I'm a Lord. Close for third. Derner the result of the improvers, the winner 10, Donegal Gem S. Bahaja at 4 to 1. Second was 1, I'm a Lord 18 to 10 equal favourite. Third number 3, Derner 5 to 1. The fifth on the program was the Fallis Insurance Brokers Flying Handicap there were no scratchings from the race, a full field of eight ran. Blackwell was out behind them from Murrower and four lengths away then to Jimbridge. Coming towards the turn, about 500 metres out, and the leader Royal Victor being held together in front, but it was too clear of Neumann's gift. A couple further back, the Twinwood Matagami getting a cut with a whip. Master Dudley following it from Blackwell, Murrower and Jimbridge still last, but with 2.20 to run, and Royal Victor about two or three in front of Neumann's gift. Out behind them, Twinwood, Master Dudley, and then Matagami. Royal Victor swore well clear with 120 to go. It's out four or five in front. Battling on for second, then on the outside, was um, uh, Neumann's gift from Master Dudley, but Royal Victor's won it easily. Three or four lengths from Neumann's gift. Five, Dudley. the winner won Royal Victor, D. Ryan, 12 to 10 and favourite. And believe me, I think this horse is as back as good as we knew he was some six months ago. Second was eight, Neumann's gift, W. Strigger, three to one. Third, three, Master Dudley, M. Hoy, eight to one. The winning margin, four and a half lengths. Race 6 today was the course caterer's country stakes and I guess in some senses it was probably the first relief for bookmakers in the program. Up towards the 600 before the turn and High Choice has worked its way to the front now. Stoddard looks to have had enough. Aussie Blues out after the leader, so was Star Lee. Red Recall starting to make some ground around the outside of Tambell Sentence and, and Hull's Army. And then Land Option Rumnick, but into the straight and High Choice has careered to the lead and got a couple in front of Star Lee, Aussie Blue and down the outside to Tambell Sentence from Hull's Army Land Option. High Choice being joined by Star Lee at the 200. Tambell Sentence looks to be the one that's running on best of the others but the two leaders may have it between them. Land Option starting to run home along the rail but now Starley gets to the front. Here's Hull's Army out after it quickly. Starley stopping but it'll hang on and Starley has beaten Hull's Army. The, country stakes. the winner was seven Starley Esper Hadja at eight to one. It gave Sam a winning treble for the day. Second placing to five Hull's Army four to one. Third six Land Option twelve to one. The four trailer today paid $575 with Star Lee winning the final leak. Last race on the program this afternoon was the RAA Insurance Maiden Handicap and again perhaps a result for bookmakers. At the 600 and full on Jack's coming back to them quickly and led only a length now from Rollins Hope who's going up immediately on the outside of the leader. Moving to third around the outside, Penindi's Pride with Pride of Justice being hard ridden, Sir Carnaby still there, and then Eloquent Miss Junction Miss, but down inside the 400, and Rollins Hope has strode to the front, led from full on Jack, Sir Carnaby, I don't think Pride of Justice can win, nor can Penindi's Pride, it's Rollins Hope and Sir Carnaby to fight it out, Sir Carnaby's giving plenty on the inside of Rollins Hope, full on Jack's fighting back a little bit, it's Rollins Hope in front, Sir Carnaby slowly getting to it, Rollins Hope out, out wide, Sir Carnaby, Sir Carnaby on the inside's doing best, and Sir Carnaby beats Rollins. Result of last race on the program today, the winner nine, Sir Carnaby, and Marie White started at ten to one. Second one, Rollins Hope five to one, deprived Sam Bahadja by the way of riding four for the day, and third three, full on Jacks, twenty two to ten. The favourite, the last Pride of Justice, very disappointing at fifteen to ten. That's the Mangambi Racing Club second September program. They've had quite a, a good day considering that uh, weather was very kind to us and I think the racing quite keen. Just a reminder in closing tonight that the club will hold a further meeting in a fortnight's time on Thursday, October the 2nd. Riding honours of today, naturally with Sam Bahaja. Three winners for the day and a grand riding performance. Thank you for joining us tonight the Channel 8 Sporting Service. From the Glen Burnie Racecourse, we say a very good night. <laughs>